Hi friends, I am Professor Dr. N. Chandrasekharan. Today's topic, Contract Law. The Contract Act was passed in the year 1st September 1872 during the British period. So most of the prominent and landmark cases are all from British case laws. Even today we are following some of the leading cases referred in the Contract Act 1872 by the Britishers. This act contains 266 sections divided into six parts. In the second part, sections 76 to 123, sale of goods. A separate act was passed in the year 1930 and the sections 76 to 123 has been completely removed from the Contract Act 1872. Likewise, in the sixth part, a separate act, Partnership Act was passed in the year 1932. Therefore, sections 239 to 266 sections are completely removed from the Indian Contract Act 1872. The remaining sections are now in the Indian Contract Act. Now we will go in detail. There are two important terms in the contract law. One is agreement and another one is contract. These two terms are normally used interchangeably. But there is a difference between these two terms. Let me explain one by one. First term, important term is a promise. Section 2B defines the term promise under the Indian Contract Act 1872. A proposal when accepted becomes a promise. This is the definition. Then what is a proposal? For example, I tell you, I offer to sell my motorcycle for rupees 30,000. It's an offer to my friend. My friend gives his consent, gives his acceptance. So once he accepts my proposal, it becomes a promise. So offer plus acceptance. Here it results into promise. Next important term is agreement. Section 2E defines the term agreement under the Indian Contract Act 1872. Every promise and every set of promises with consideration forming part of each other. Then what is the meaning of consideration? Something in return to be given. In my previous example, I explained I offered my motorcycle for rupees certain 30,000, a certain sum of money. So consideration is essential. That means something in return. That consideration may be adequate or inadequate. The consideration may be in cash or in kind. So in that case, there are two parties. They enter into a contract. There is offer. There is acceptance. There is consideration also. In that case, it is called an agreement. Next very important term is contract. Section 2H of the Indian Contract Act 1872 defines the term contract as an agreement enforceable by law is called a contract. Then what is the meaning of enforceable by law? What is the meaning of enforceability? There are two different terms. One is social obligation and another one is legal obligation. In the case of social or domestic obligations, it cannot be enforceable through court of law. But in the case of legal obligations, it can be referred to the court of law and can get damages or any relief. What are all social or domestic obligations? Agreement between husband and wife, agreement between father and son, brothers and sisters, 
are all examples of social or domestic obligations. For example, I promised my brother to offer an Android mobile phone if he gets more than 90% marks in the board exam. Board results came, he secured 95% marks. So he started demanding, where is my mobile phone? So I told him, just to encourage you, just to motivate you to study well, I promised, no, no, I won't pay. In that case, is there any remedy available? Can he refer to the court of law? Will it be taken to the court? Will it be enforceable by law? No, because there is no legal obligation. It's only a social obligation. Let me take another example. I ordered a home theater with the Flipkart company and the consideration amount of rupees 50,000 also paid online. So there are two parties. There is an agreement. There is a consideration. Legal object is also there. Here legal obligation is also there because it's a commercial or trade transaction. So when it is a commercial or a trade transaction, it's a legal obligation attached to it. So the Flipkart company promised to deliver within five days. Even what even after one week or after 10 days, the goods has not been delivered to my home. So I have taken the matter to the court of law. The judge ordered the refund of rupees 50,000 to me as well as the delivery of home theater to me. So it is a remedy available if it is enforceable by law. This is called a contract. So the main difference between agreement and contract is that. This can be referred with the British case law also. A very famous case law, Balfour versus Balfour. The same name, Balfour versus Balfour, you can assume that it's a contract, it's an agreement between husband and wife. Husband promises to pay rupees 20,000 every month towards maintenance charges to run the family. He used to pay every month the promised amount. Due to his business trip, he had been to some other country. He moved out of India. After that, he failed to remit the amount. The wife filed a suit in the court of law. The case was dismissed on the ground that there is no legal obligation. It's only a domestic obligation, only a social obligation. So her husband need not pay the maintenance charges. This is a very very famous case. That's why I referred this case Balfour versus Balfour. In my next video, we will look into Various case laws like Carlyle versus Carbolic Smoke Ball Company, Lalman Shukla versus Gauri Dutt, etc. Thank you so much for watching this video very patiently. If you like this video, leave your comment and do subscribe. Thank you so much.